Uh, I'm Tillman, Tillman Lang from uh, Mainz in Germany. It's a very nice city uh, close to Frankfurt, to the west of Frankfurt. Um, by background, by training a mathematician and computer scientist. Um, and I started my PhD at MTech roughly one and a half years ago after being in top management consulting with McKinsey for roughly two years where I focused on sustainability and energy topics, uh, which is also what I'm focusing on right now in my PhD work here at MTech. Well, I was looking to do a PhD because I wanted to uh, get a more foundation or, or deeper expertise in the field that I was working uh, in, so sustainability and climate science from an economical perspective. Um, and I felt that ETH in general and MTech in particular gave me the possibility to first of all do uh, academic work on the, on the very highest level but also do it in a very meaningful way, uh, which for me means that I can apply it to the real world. I didn't want to do research or academic world, world which only revolves around itself in an, in an academic uh, kind of ivory tower. I wanted to do something that is of huge practical relevance uh, because that's uh, what matters to me and um, I felt that ETH gives me a chance to combine a tremendous academic rigor with uh, huge practical relevance in what I do. There are several hi highlights. I think the first highlight for me was when I started um, coming back to the point that I'm actually a mathematician by training, uh, I did have a lot of experience uh, from my time with McKinsey uh, in uh, economic topics, of course, but from a very practical perspective. So I didn't have a lot of academic back or actually no academic background in, in terms of management science and theory, which meant that for me, uh, when I started my PhD, I had to come or uh, gain a lot of ground uh, because I didn't have uh, the starting point that other people had. Um, so one of the highlights that I had uh, in the start was uh, 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 a bunch of research seminars where we were in very close groups with professors just discussing a lot of seminal work, a lot of uh, important papers uh, from the theory uh, where I really gained from discussions with the professor because we were in small groups so think about one professor and three or four students going through the, the important fundamentals and discussing them really in, in large detail which just made, made the start for me a lot more efficient than reading by myself because obviously that's also a way, uh, a way to do it but <laughs> not something with the same learning experience and probably also not as much fun as, as when you have the chance to uh, discuss it in, in detail with a small group and a professor who's got a lot of experience. Okay. So that's certainly one highlight that I experienced in the start. Um, a highlight that, I, that keeps coming back to me is just the, the kind of colleagues and co-workers that I have here at, at uh, both my research group but also at the institute in general. Um, it's a bunch of people that I experience as tremendously motivated and very, very, much, very, very passionate and caring for the stuff that they work on. So they, I never get the feeling that they're here just because they're here and they need to get their research work or their PhDs done, but they're actually uh, passionate about what they do and they care about the topics that they investigate. And so there's just a lot of vibrance and, and uh, mutual motivation because everybody is, uh, you're able to discuss uh, everything with everybody because everybody's just so interested. In, uh, and at the same time also very talented, that's maybe the, the second thing. They're not only motivated, but um, I feel that like there's nobody in the group from which I cannot learn. Um, and that also is something that uh, makes working here a lot of fun. So I think what is important to bring along when you start research at MTech or a PhD at MTech is um, f well, first of all, a motivation for the topic that you want to work on. Um, you shouldn't, I feel like no, you shouldn't come here if you just want to get a PhD. Uh, I feel that most or actually all of the people that I've met that work here do that because they care about their research and I think that's something important for the people that hop on to MTech and uh, they want to be a part of this. Um, I think another important thing to note is that after all you're at, at ETH Zurich uh, which is the uh, probably the leading technological school in, in uh, Europe. Um, so everything that we do evolves at least in some way or at least touches upon technology in some way. So technology is very important so you should have at least a bit of a, a technology affinity. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to be a technician and it doesn't mean that you spend your leisure time, I don't know, with a screwdriver in your hand, uh, but it does mean that you should uh, not be afraid of talking about a technology and diving deep into technological issues, even if your main subject or your main perspective is an economic one or a management one. Um, the third one I would say, that, uh, another thing that is important to be successful at, at MTech is you, you should be very open and uh, open means first of all engaging with others and, and looking for exchange with others 
but also be open to very different perspective. It's a very interdisciplinary um, group and institute. So I'm one of the exotic people being a mathematician, but there's other exotic people too. And I actually experienced that as, as a huge benefit for, for the institute. Uh, but that also, I think, is something that you need to be able to, to work with, that people will challenge you and discuss with you from very different angles. Um, so that's something that you should be happy to do if, you, if you're uh, about to join uh, MTech. And probably the last thing that makes your life uh, very much more joyful if you're in Zurich is if you like, if you like the, the mountains, if you like mountain biking, if you like skiing, if you like snowboarding, if you like hiking, mountaineering in general, or the lake, or just nature in general. Um, that, of course, makes your life uh, all the more enjoyable. I am, I'm a special case, I guess, because I'm in a program with McKinsey where uh, I'm right now on, in, on an educational sabbatical to work on my PhD for two to three years. Um, so I actually assume that when I finish my PhD, I will probably go back to McKinsey to apply all the uh, deep grounded knowledge that I've uh, built up, hopefully, here at, uh, um, at MTech. Um, yeah, but it's still quite some time to go, so let's see what the future brings.